Hey y'all, it's Michael and I'm here today to do my Friday reads. I was planning to do one last week actually, but there was like a whole bunch of family stuff and I didn't, I ran out of time to do it. So I kind of have to do this fast because first off, it is really hot. <laughs> it's really hot right now and I think it's about to storm. So before I talk about the books that I wanted to read over the weekend, uh, first off, um, I started watching Veep, and because I wanted to find out like why all like it gets all of these accolades, and I'm on the uh, season six, which is the season like the current season right now, and it's about it's over, uh, and I get it. It is so funny, so so funny. Oh my god, I love it so much. And Game of Thrones was on last. This is what I wanted to talk about too. Um, last week, uh, Game of Thrones was uh, premiered last week, and then Insecure starts Sunday. <laughs> It's going to be a good weekend for TV watching anyways for me. The other day I went to go watch War for the Planet of the Apes and I actually really liked it. I was surprised how great it was. Like, wow, this is really good. I went to go watch Dunkirk yesterday um, in IMAX and luckily we have a, I think it's a 70 millimeter IMAX because, you know, they have special, you know, special IMAX. If you are going to watch that movie, watch it and pay that extra, however, Ten dollars, I think it, it is. Like, I paid nearly twenty dollars for the movie ticket, and I was like, God dang, that's expensive. And that was just for me. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I really enjoy Christopher Nolan as a director, and my favorite Christopher Nolan film is uh, Memento. This one was really different. Uh, it's definitely one of those movies. I think I still have to process my thoughts on it, but it's definitely an experience for sure. Um, if anything, pay for it in IMAX. Um, that big ass screen will. <sighs> This is a movie to be seen on that huge, huge, huge screen. Like, it's it's a big, ugh, oh my god. Some of those scenes were breathtaking. I was like, oh, like, oh, it was so good. So, let's talk about books. First off, um, this next weekend, like, next week is the book Tubathon, and everybody and their mama is doing it. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, so many, my, my timeline is flooded with booktube TBRs. Now, I haven't decided if I wanted to do it or not, and that's because I'm mainly reading one book. I don't know if I want to do the daily vlogs, which I really enjoy, um, but the thing with doing daily vlogs is that it does take away time from reading um, when I'm editing it, uh, but we'll see how it goes and see how, it, how I feel about it. I just might decide to join in at the 11th hour. I'm currently reading for my short stories, uh, Blind Willow Sleeping Women by Haruki Murakami. Um, I'm actually on track with my short story, like since I'm trying to read a short story every single day, I'm on track with this, which is great. Um, is this his best short story collection? I don't think so. Is this his best stories? Not really. There is one though that I love and it's called um, The Year of Spaghetti. When I talk about this book, I really want to focus on that um, short story because you guys know how much I love spaghetti. For the read along uh, with Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading, we're reading Confused Spice by Mathis Bailey. Um, I need to play catch up on this so that's what I'm going to be doing. It's a really sh short book. It's only like up to it's only 260 pages um so i'll be able to catch up uh at the point we're at the main book that i'm reading is what i was hoping to do like to read his bibliography but i don't think i'm going to be able to do that because the book is incredibly um long and it's i'm going at a much slower pace than i assume i thought because um i'm really taking it slow and just digesting all the information uh far from the tree parents Children and the Search for Identity by Andrew Solomon. That's the full title. I cannot wait to finish this just so I can do a review on it. Because let me tell you, it is really good. Like, it's fantastically good. Like, so, so well done. Wow. <laughs> like, it is. I'm going to let you guys know now. Like, I'm only on page, I'm on page 185. <sighs> Every time I start this book, like whenever I get, I really want to read it. Like, I'm in, the, this is one of those books where I want to read it so much, 
but finding time to read it is um because you i kind of want i love reading in big chunks and finding time to read in like big chunks is kind of hard right now and that's another thing i want to talk about so i was attempting to do two two hours every single day for the month of july and i'm not doing so well on that um but surprisingly if my other goal was to read at least one hour per day i'm doing really well in regards to that aspect and i say that because let me check my uh let me check it's called the book out app book out b-o-o-k-o-u-t that's the app i'm using and right now i am at 20 hours out of 30 i put I put a goal on here. I switched. I it was sixty, but I, I I put it down to thirty. So twenty hours so far in July that I read out of thirty, which is the goal that I changed it to. Um, and that's really good. That's that's an average of an hour a day, which is really hard to find nowadays to just like read for a good chunk. Um, yeah, it's just it's just harder. Uh, so. That's really great. Um, let me tell. This book is so. It's about. In case I thought it was about relationships, like as I, but as I delve more into it, it is about relationships in a way. Um, but it's really about how parents relate to their children, and w w this concept that he talks about: vertical identity versus horizontal identity. Vertical identity is the concept um, that we have this, as a society, essentially that we have this straight concept of who we should be as a as humans and any deviation from that is called a horizontal um, identity where it's completely different from the norm and how we relate to people with horizontal identity as children um, and how that affects our lives oh it is so good like i'm not joking you guys like this is the book to beat so far for 2017 for me um so yeah, I'm really hoping to get a big chunk of this read this weekend um, because uh, Mayel is not here this weekend, which is sad because I'm going to miss her, but at the same time, she's going to be great because that means I don't have to babysit. So that's going to be really great. Um, other than that, uh, I already miss her. Yeah. Yesterday, she had this purse on and I was like, what are you doing with a purse? What are you keeping in there? Definitely not your diapers. Uh, so yeah. Other than that, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm really excited for next week because um, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood starts, and oh, it's gonna be good because Keisha Cole is on there, and if anything, that preview, <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be a mess, but like a beautiful mess. Let me know if you're participating in Booktubeathon. I would love to check out your TBR. I mean. I felt like I've seen everybody else's TBR. Uh, so until then, I'll see you guys till later. Bye.